Human is defined as pertaining to, characteristic of, or having the nature of people. Mad Max Fury Road focuses much of its style and plot on drawing the line between being human and animal. It shows that oftentimes the only way to survive in an environment so harsh that many humans die, you must change into something else. Abraham Maslow, a renowned psychologist, introduced what is called the Maslow Hierarchy of Needs. He said that in order to advance in your state, you must first meet certain needs. The lowest of is food, water, warmth, and rest. Once you have a steady supply of all of these and no longer need to worry about them, you can start thinking about security and safety. Then, once you have those, you can think about your relationships. And it goes on like this. When Immortan Joe gives a very limited supply of water to the crowds of people, he is keeping them within the first level of the hierarchy. They are never able to advance to the level of esteem needs, which is where they should be in order to rebel or fight for their rights as human beings. By constantly keeping them here, they will never be able to get there because they first need to meet their basic physical needs. And Morden Joe's five wives further represent one side of this. They are objects to be used for Morden Joe's motives. He wants sons to carry on his legacy, and that is what they can provide. Similar are the War Boys. Even though they do everything with a fierce devotion, Joe uses them for menial work and as soldiers to do as he wills. Humans have become tools to be used, then tossed aside without a second thought. Or they have become mere things. Still, this is better than facing the wild. But what happens to those who decide to take on the salt and everything in it? Many viewers are confused by this scene. The bird-like creatures in the now-dead green place don't seem human. It is revealed in the movie that the soil we had to get out. We had no water, and water was filth. It was poisoned. It was sour. And the crows came. We couldn't grow anything. The creatures that are obviously human use long poles to keep themselves away from the poison ground. It can be assumed that their feathers are actually a makeshift coat to keep the toxic air from touching their skin. They adapted in order to remain in their environment. Their silhouettes still give the impression of something bird-like, something definitely not human. And that may be accurate. They no longer operate under the rules and customs that the average human does. But does this make them something other than human? A bit less obvious is the struggle for humanity in the main character, Max. At the beginning of the movie, Max says that he is... A man reduced to a single instinct. Survive. He's entirely in a mindset of personal survival, and that is portrayed powerfully through his animalesque actions, which we see clearly four times. First was his lack of hesitation in eating a live lizard. Max is descending from the human practice to kill and cook meat and into animal practice. Second, he tries to chew off someone else's arm to get himself free. This mirrors some animals' readiness in chewing off their own leg in order to escape a trap. Third, he even has a garden fork that serves as a muzzle. And fourth, he doesn't recognize having a name. Hey, what's your name? What do I call you? Does it matter? Receiving and calling yourself by a name is a common human custom found around the world. His refusal to say his name is why the following scene has such an impact. That's my name. 
Another reason this scene is essential is Max's decision to give Periosa his blood. Blood is a symbol of the ability to survive, or in other words, life itself. If you give yours to another, they will live longer and you shorter. It becomes as precious of a commodity as gas and water is in the movie. In the beginning, he would have done anything to keep it, so giving it away demonstrates this change further. In the act of naming himself and sacrificing his blood, Max becomes something that is no longer reduced to a single instinct. He becomes human. What do you think? Did I get anything wrong? Write any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching.